there, friends, Nibs again. I want to get out in the garage and do a little bit of plinking tonight. And I wanted to do this head-to-head uh, -head challenge for you guys. Um, <clears throat> I just did this, uh, just received this one in the mail the other day. And uh, the first one we're going to be shooting is the Crossman Model 1322. And this one, it was a, uh, you know, used gun quote unquote, but it, apparently it only been shot a couple of times and then put back in the package and, and never really shot a whole bunch. And we're going to be doing a head to head challenge against this one that I've had for quite a while now. Uh, and this is the Crossman model 130. And, and actually this one is a Hawthorne, which is the Montgomery Wards brand M130. It's, but it's just a store brand version of the Crossman model 130. So uh, we're going to be doing a head-to-head -head challenge uh, across the garage. i got a couple of shooting C's uh, already on the uh, camera down there. And so let's go ahead and uh, get it going. Uh, I found that four or five pumps for these is really kind of the ideal sweet spot for both of these uh, as far as accuracy goes. So we'll go ahead and we'll shoot the newcomer first. See what we can do. Ooh, a little low. <clears throat> Both of these are really pretty cool, though. I uh, been shooting that 130 a lot, and it's it's so much fun to shoot. That's better. So I'm shooting these, both of these, with these, the rifle cutter, wide cutter pellets. And uh, they both seem to really like these quite a bit. And we'll go ahead and add up the score at the end here. Another good one. All right. I think I got the. I think I got the hang of this one now. I think that one in the same hole as the last one. <laughs> have to do a head-to-head -head challenge against this one against the. Uh, 1377 as well. Which which one though? I've got four or five of them. So <laughs> all righty. That looks like it's going to be a pretty good score. I don't doesn't look like a perfect score, but uh, looks like it's going to be a pretty darn good score. So let's go ahead and shoot the uh, model 130 now. This one is a, what they call a self cocking action. So that one there, you have to cock it every time before you start. This one, as you pump it, you'll actually hear the, the valve inside there click on the first or second pump, and uh, it will uh, cock against the, the, the valve actually cocks against the sear, and then when you trip it, it actually moves the sear out of the way of the valve, and that's how it uh, trips. This one actually has the other one has, has a hammer. And when you cock that uh, bolt back, it actually cocks the hammer back. And then when you pump it up, the hammer flies forward and hits the valve. So they're completely, completely different mechanisms inside. Ooh, that one was really low. Wasn't low when I was practicing. All right, that's better. Both of these are 22 caliber. Both of them are uh, rifled barrels. The 1322 does have a little bit longer barrel, so that might give it a little bit of an advantage, especially for sighting for me. 
but uh, this is a both really fun really fun shooters for whatever reason this one's shooting low on me today it doesn't have adjustable sights so you have to but uh, it was when I was doing a little bit of practice in this morning with it it was right on the money I'm not sure what's going on this afternoon all right well I will uh, pause the camera I'm pretty sure the 1322 won this one but uh, let me pause the camera I'll add them up and we'll see all righty I'm back it's, uh, it was a pretty close one, but uh, my grouping for that 130 was just real low. It had a really nice grouping, but uh, for some reason it was pulling low on me today. And uh, so I ended up with a, uh, on the 1322, I ended up with a, a really nice 48 out of a 50. Um, this one was a 9, and then this one over here was a 9, but I had three 10s in there, so that was really nice. But the, uh, the grouping for the, if, it, if you're going by grouping, the group size, the, uh, thir the 130 would have won, but uh, everything was pulled low, so I only ended up with 110. That one right there just barely cracked the 10 ring, uh, but the rest of them were all 8s and 9s in there. But uh, <clears throat> really both did really good, and uh, but we're going to have to give this one to the newcomer, and uh, shot really good. Uh, I just had a couple of ones that I kind of flinched out a little bit. I need to do a little Kentucky windage with the 130, and I'm sure that one would have been a, a real contender too. But uh, anyway, there you go. 1322, newcomer to the garage, takes his first uh, first round of head-to-head -head challenges. Plenty more to come, I'm sure. Got to put them up against the 1377. I've got the new, the new fangled 1377, and I've got several of the older style ones too that we can uh, play around and test that against as well. But anyway, there you go. Hope you like this head-to-head -head challenge. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You'll be notified when I do post up new videos. Until next time, have a great day.